this is a slide which is showing that you know various uh, areas where the atherosclerosis can start the something which are in a uh, uh, light red color these are the areas or the site where the you know atherosclerosis so when we are trying to <clears throat> do a uh, say mr a brain where which means a magnetic uh, magnetic resonance angiography of the brain so when the magnetic resonance angiography of the brain is done the vasculature is tracked down right from the neck structure till the circle of willis you know the entire territory is been uh, uh, tracked down by this particular study so if you can see in this particular slide on the left hand side this is a atherosclerotic changes and this is the same has been uh, same has been seen here you can see here this particular vessel you can see there is a there is a bleeding bleeding is seen there is a narrowing here which is seen so this is the internal carotid artery here there is a <coughs> atherosclerotic changes and there is a carotid stenosis the same can be reflected in the in the uh, angiography this is a ct angio which shows there is a carotid stenosis i have already mentioned that anterior carotid arteries uh, anterior circulation anterior uh, circulation of the brain is because of the carotid arteries which gives a uh, especially the inter carotid artery which gives a middle and uh, the anterior cerebral arteries which supplies the majority of the frontal area parietal area temporal lobes basal ganglia and part of uh, the thalamus and hypothalamus whereas the posterior artery, posterior circulation is because of the vertebral arteries which comes and forms the basal basilar artery and it supplies the various occipital uh, lobe cerebellum brain stem and uh, other parts of the thalamus and hypothalamus so this is uh, what we have already discussed and it should remain and another important thing is around 20% of the cardiac output has to go through the brain you know so if there is a interruption of this blood supply to the brain of for more than 30 second there can be a, a a cascade of inflammation and the ischemic phenomena which may lead to uh, brain cell death if it is prolonged to 2 minutes if there is a transient block of 30 second the phenomena of the you know ischemic damage starts but if it is as far as 2 minutes then the phenomena is much more progressed and if it is more than 5 to 2 to 5 minutes then there are chances that there will be brain cell death so that's why we need to uh, aggressively approach this particular uh, phenomena or this particular disease so these are the various atherosclerotic plaques which are seen time and again i'm trying to show you this is because many a times uh, as a physician you know we often get scared to uh, advise the investigation but the first and foremost thing which is important is to investigate what is the cause of the disease you know